Do you like art? As a teenager, I would say that I am definitely interested in art and enjoy looking at and creating different types of artwork. I find that art can be a really interesting and enjoyable way to express myself and explore my creativity. Whether it's drawing, painting, sculpture, or any other medium, I think that art has the ability to convey emotions and ideas in a way that words alone cannot. Would you like to be an artist? If given the opportunity, I think that being an artist would be a really rewarding and fulfilling career choice. It would allow me to express myself creatively and share my ideas and emotions with others through my art. I also think that the process of creating art, whether it's through sketching, painting, or sculpting, can be a meditative and therapeutic activity. What artwork do you have on the walls of your home? As a teenager, I don't currently have any artwork on the walls of my home. However, I am always on the lookout for new pieces to add to my collection. I enjoy looking for unique and interesting pieces that speak to me personally, whether it's a beautiful landscape painting or an abstract piece that challenges my perspective. I also enjoy supporting up-and-coming artists by purchasing their work and helping to promote their talent. Have you ever visited an art gallery? Yes, I have visited an art gallery before and it was a really interesting and enjoyable experience. It was really cool to see all of the different styles and mediums that artists use to create their work and to learn about the different techniques and ideas behind each piece. I also enjoyed the opportunity to see a wide range of art in one place and to be able to compare and contrast different pieces and styles. Vocabulary. Convey, transmit or serve as the medium for transmitting something, such as information or emotion. Creativity, the use of the imagination to produce something original and useful. Expression, the act of expressing or representing something in a particular way, especially by using language. Fulfilling, providing a sense of achievement or purpose. Meditative, relating to or characterized by contemplation or spiritual introspection. Medium, a means of communication, such as print or broadcast media, through which information, entertainment, or advertising is disseminated. Sculpting, the art of shaping three-dimensional objects by cutting, carving, or molding. Sketching, the act of making a rough drawing. Techniques, a way of carrying out a particular task, especially the execution or performance of an artistic work or a scientific procedure. Therapeutic, having a beneficial effect on the body or mind. Here are some tips for answering questions about art, along with some vocabulary that you could use. Use descriptive vocabulary. Use words that help to describe the appearance, style, and mood of a piece of art. Some examples might include Abstract, relating to or denoting art that does not attempt to represent external reality, but rather seeks to achieve its effect using shapes, colors, and textures. Realistic, accurately representing what is real, faithful to reality. Impressionistic, relating to or denoting a style of art characterized by the representation of the natural world through the use of loose, expressive brush strokes and bold, vivid colors. Vibrant, full of energy, excitement, and life, lively and animated. Muted, not loud or strong, subdued. Somber, serious and dignified in character, grave. Evocative, tending to suggest or call to mind, suggestive. Dramatic, striking or vivid in appearance or effect, producing strong emotions. Intricate, having a lot of small, detailed parts that are difficult to understand or make. Use analytical vocabulary, use words that help to analyze and interpret a piece of art. Some examples might include. Symbolism, the use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. Meaning, what is intended to be conveyed or represented by a work of art. Message, the information or idea that is conveyed or intended to be conveyed by a work of art. Purpose, the reason for which something is made or done. Technique, the way in which a particular task is performed or a particular skill is used. Influence, the power to shape or affect something, especially a person's thoughts or behavior. Context, the circumstances that form the background or scene against which an event or statement occurs. Significance, the quality of being worthy of attention because of the meaning or importance of what is being said or done. Use your own opinions. Don't be afraid to express your own thoughts and feelings about a piece of art. Just be sure to back up your opinions with specific examples and reasons. 
Use examples, use specific examples of works or artists to illustrate your points and to make your responses more interesting and engaging. Practice speaking, it's always a good idea to practice speaking before the test, so that you can get a feel for the format and become more comfortable with speaking in front of others. Take your time, don't feel rushed to answer the questions. It's better to take a moment to think about your response and to carefully articulate your thoughts, rather than rushing and making mistakes. Be confident, believe in yourself and your ability to do well on the test. Confidence can go a long way in helping you to feel more relaxed and to perform at your best. Three final things. If you have questions, please ask them in the comments section. I will be releasing similar videos so make sure you subscribe to me. See details of my speaking course in the description of this video.